Roland. Oh, good, good queuing. That was good. Happy Friday. Happy f Friday. Three day weekend. Thank you, Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. And here we are. We have Phoebe Snow playing our song today, which is. The song is Poetry Man. It is. It is. Now let me get it turned off here. So. Phoebe Snow doing Poetry Man. Does that mean this is one another one of those poem poetry drinks? It isn't. Oh, so Phoebe Snow. So it's another one of those snow drinks. It is, but what is the connection? This is the conundrum. Yes. What does Phoebe Snow have to do with our drink? Do we know what our drink is? We don't. Our drink is... The Brandy Alexander. The Brandy Alexander. Brandy Alexander. Yeah. It is a classic cocktail that it is sometimes is. referred to as a dessert cocktail. But again, we're stuck back with Brandy the... Alexander, Phoebe Snow. Yeah, what's the what connection, the Ronald? What the heck? Well, tell us, please. Because this is a fairly popular drink, there's a lot of stuff written out there about it. And so. Among the many things written about it is that they believe that it was invented um, by uh, a bartender at a restaurant called Rector's in New York City. Let's just stop here a minute. Okay. Like, I think we have a cocktails with the princess first. How many of these episodes have I asked you? Like you've said, what do you know about the drink? Or I've said, what do you know about the drink? And then you're like, well, I don't know. Whoa, Even though I uh, thought you researched uh, it out. <laughs> Here. Just saying, I just want to make note. Yes. You have you have some things, some research. I I did. I actually it, it was because I woke up early today. <laughs> Googling around, man. So that's where it yeah. came from. Plus Wikipedia has an entry about the Brandy Alexander. That's the truth. It's like Wikipedia is my source authority on pretty much anything I want to know. That's a little scary. But anyway, let's go on with so the So anyways, so so, tell us so, so this is going to draw the connection. Okay, so Brandy stuff, Alexander. What's bar, up? A lot of stuff about the drink. Yes. Bar in New York City. Bar in New York City, um, Rector's. Um, the bartender, his name was Tony Alexander. So that's where we get the Alexander. And it was a brandy drink. Brandy Alexander, man. So that's where the name comes from. But, but still, what's the connection with Phoebe Snow? So, Phoebe Snow. So he invented it. Because honestly, when we started this out, we were going to play You're a Brandy. You're yes, a fine girl. You're a fine girl. What a good wife you would be. That's right. But we switched it to, to Phoebe Snow. Phoebe Snow, because. Poetry Man. Because of how the drink was invented. It was invented by Troy Alexander at Rector's back in the early 20s to, uh, to, because they were having a big party at Rector's on behalf of Phoebe Snow. Phoebe Snow? Why were they having a party for Phoebe Snow, the singer who didn't even come around till the 70s, you ask? Perhaps you don't ask, but... Somebody but I right know, up. because Phoebe Snow became one of the most celebrated and recognized advertising mascots in the United States, actually. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed Phoebe Snow? But what was she a mascot for? She was a mascot <laughs> for the Delaware Lackawanna <laughs> Western <laughs> Railroad. So what she was, she was this woman who, I mean, she was a fictional woman, but she always dressed in white. She was like this beautiful young socialite who dressed in white, white hat, white gloves, white dress, head to toe. I think to... there may be another connection with this song, just as you were talking. Okay. A beautiful woman. Oh, okay. exactly. Yes. A socialite. Yes. Yes. An up and comer. I mean, you know... 
if there weren't words <laughs> to right. describe me, even I can't say that with a straight face. But anyway, please go on. And so, and the reason they I'm had this... I'm going to start mixing the drink while That's a talking. good idea, otherwise so we're going to be... Right. So, so wait Phoebe minute, Snow... Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Before we go on, I just want to say it's brandy. We got our brandy Brandy, here. such a fine drink. Right. <laughs> Heavy whipping cream. What a good drink it would make. And cream de cacao dark. And we're going to garnish it with a little nutmeg. There you go. Pretty, pretty... So, Pretty simple one and a compared half of to the brandy and one ounce of the other two. Unlike things. the last drink that had a whole uh, smorgasbord of ingredients. It did, but also I just want to add, we don't have to mix these up at one at a time. You can make these in big batches if you're having a party. Ah, it's not quite a wapatui, but I'm going to mix both of ours together. Oh, so, very good. Yes. So please tell us more, Ronald. Well, it's pretty much the end of it. It's like, so this, so Phoebe Snow was this character invented to advertise the railroad because they had recently started using clean burning coal in their trains. And so there wasn't all that soot getting pumped out. And so they used this woman dressed all in white as their advertising representative for the, uh, the railroad and of course snow snow white and that's that's kind of where that all yes. came from and phoebe snow the singer that we were listening to shortly a uh, short time ago she took her name from phoebe snow the character back in the early 20s because she phoebe, was from the bronx wasn't she or i was think she Queens? was from she was from new york a part of new york yep i don't remember where and yeah. phoebe snow's given name i believe was phoebe marie uh, Baum, and Baum? it's Baum, B-A-U-M, ah. and so you can see why she might want to take something different, just because it just doesn't sound like a, a singer, you know. Um, know. Well, anyway, so she was Phoebe Snow and did this song and did many wonderful songs. Okay. And that's where the that is why we're listening to Phoebe Snow and drinking Brandy Alexander's. Now, I do know there's a poem because I printed it out here. Yes. Because I was not going to remember it. I'm going to put my gloves on because my hands are getting a little nippy. It's kind of cold out today. Yeah. So the poem went, uh, says Phoebe Snow, about to go upon a trip to Buffalo. My gown stays white from morning till night upon the road of anthracite. There and then once go. electricity came in, they changed it to now Phoebe may go by night or day upon her book, upon, enjoy her book upon the way. Electric light dispels the night upon the road to anthracite. Yeah, anthracite coal, I guess, was the biggie, man. It's like they were really uh, pushing the anthracite. What is it? Anthracite. Is it in New York? I didn't look this So up. anthracite is a kind of coal. It's 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 a kind of coal that burns cleanly. Oh, yeah. oh. I thought it was a town. There's probably a town called Anthracite. That's probably where they discovered it. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. So so today you are a free woman, or pretty close to a pretty free close. woman. I yeah, it's like kind of my last day at work was today. Yeah. I have to turn my computer and stuff in tomorrow or on Tuesday. Have off on Monday. Ooh, those look lovely, Holly. They do, don't they look nice and creamy? They do. I have to admit, I think I poured more in mine than yours, but you know. What what makes I you think that one's yours? <laughs> Because I'm the mix master, and I'm giving you... Oh, I gotta, I gotta put the uh, nutmeg on top. Ah, yeah, we don't want to forget the nutmeg. It's a little nippy out, I just want to say. It is a little cold. It is. Like, my hands are cold. Yeah. But I've unleashed the other hand, and we're going to get this on top here. Make it look nice. Plus, we're, we're here in the nighttime, so we don't have the wonderful sunshine warming us up. No, we don't. I'm going to turn my... Not around. Boy, I can smell the nutmeg and I can smell the drinks. They they both smell good. They do, don't they? They do. I think this is going to be a good one. I do too. Smooth and creamy. There you go, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, it looks good. Cheers. Cheers for sure. 
Yeah. Where's the camera pointing, dear? It's pointing at you. Okay. <laughs> Not that I want it pointing at me, but suddenly I thought we were looking down at the table. Oh, it's extremely good. Oh, this is very tasty. Yum, yum. You betcha. Yeah, this is not... Um, it's very good. Yeah. Like mine's already... Because I need more. Yeah, this is a good one. Yep, it is. It is. Well. Well. This is long. Happy Friday. Happy Hope y'all have a long, nice weekend and are able to take some time thinking about rights, civil rights, and that we are all not all free until we are all free. Very good. So the fight goes on. That's the truth. Cheers. Cheers.